Good afternoon or good evening whenever this video goes out. It is uh, Admin Paul at Think there from the Facebook team of Newcastle Fans TV. Just with a few of the stories that are circulating uh, around about um, the club at the moment. And we'll start off with a bit of takeover news. And it involves Mike Ashley. No, it's not the one that we've all been after. Uh, no, that momentous day uh, hasn't come. To be fair, I even uh, saw a video last night from a time traveller, and again, even he didn't mention anything about Mike actually selling the fucking club, uh, and he was from the year 2045 or something like that, if you believe what he said, so chuff knows. Anyway, in all seriousness, Mike Ashley, the man who's got no money, remember? No money at all. No money. He'd probably have to sign on. He's that skint. But he's uh, been trying to buy uh, Debenhams. I like to say it's the longest running soap opera it's even more of a shambles and a piss take than the fucking brexit shit will it will they or won't they and all that sort of crap but yeah he's been trying to buy them he put a bid in for them they said you've undervalued it uh he said no you're asking too much money for it he wanted to buy it he wanted to refinance it he wanted all this sort of things he wanted to be the boss he was desperate to be the boss he then said if there's any justice in the world, the advisers who told them to ignore Ashley's offer should be jailed. Which is absolutely fucking ironic coming from that fat, deluded piece of shit who owns our club. Because if anybody should be jailed, it should be him and his cronies, the Keith Bishops, the Lee Charnleys. And, I will add, there are others. And uh, I just find it he's got more neck than a giraffe. He puts in a bid to buy it that undervalues it. Yet if somebody does that to Newcastle, he tells them to fuck off. And he expects that to be fine. But when he does it, he expects it to go through. Why he is so greedy, nobody knows. Because the top of, bottom of it is, he's a very wealthy man. But he's a greedy bastard. And he wants more. When is enough? If you're so obsessed with Debenhams, why don't you take whatever fucking bid that was on the table for Newcastle and fuck right off and go and look after your stupid Debenhams and that. Another store to add to the list of stores that I wouldn't shop in if it was the last fucking shop in the high street. Wouldn't touch anything he's associated with. Unbelievable. If there's any justice in the world, them advisors should be jailed. You, Lee Charnley, Keith Bishop, all your fucking uh, PR advisors and spin people and all of those people keeping the beady little lies across social media to say what's being said. His little puppets. They're the ones who should be all locked up. Locked up and fucking bummed to death in their fucking prison showers. Sick and tired of these daft bastards. Absolutely hypocrite. Fucking hypocrite. He wants his cake and he wants to eat it. And by the size of him, I think he's fucking been doing plenty of that. I'm no fucking Slim Jim, but fuck me. He's a greedy bastard. Absolutely greedy. Fed up of him just chatting shit. Between this Debenhams takeover, the Newcastle United sale and Brexit it just fucking goes on and on and on. And Ariston. Fuck me. Unbelievable. When will this piece of shit get out of our club? I don't know. It can't come soon enough. And talking about pieces of shit, whether it be fat or four-eyed or whatever, I don't really care. Gets me onto Lee Charney. That useless twat. Comes out, Raf has uh, uh, been mentioning in his press conference that, yeah, some stuff has been mentioned with regards to his contract. Some. Fucking hell. How late are we in the day in his contract? It's just the same as fucking Brexit. It's gone on too fucking long, hasn't it? So he says, we're somewhere, we've had some conversations. It's a no-brainer. Do what the man fucking wants. It's as simple as. Only Lee Charney could cock this up. Only Mike Ashley could cock this up. And the incompetent clowns that run the club. 
unbelievable. You know, I've been biting my lip on it, biting my lip, but just no more. So, yeah, it's just another day and it's the same old, same old thing. Rafa is saying that it'll, it'll be sorted out more towards when we're safe. We know we're virtually safe anyway, barring an absolute uh, calamity. Then, you know, our our position in the, um, you know, in, in the league and stuff should be absolutely fine. What, another win? Should absolutely rub it, you know, literally put the gloss coat on top, shouldn't it? I mean, I'm not 100% expecting anything on Monday. I'll be capable of getting some points. Yes, we are. I think we are. If we can put that sort of Man City level of performance in, yes, we can get something against Arsenal. Uh, if not, there are home games coming up where we should stand more than a decent chance to get them points. Then that's just another excuse down on the list for me. And whilst we're talking about excuses... It brings me on to the next thing to do with Charlie. The fans fucking forum. What the hell's happened with that? Supposed to be four times a year. Luckily, lucky for us, if we have it once. No word, no nothing was supposed to happen fucking weeks and weeks and weeks ago after the Wolves game. Still not happened. Still no communication from the club. They've got people whose job title it is, is communication. What are we paying these fucking clowns for? Useless. The only thing they are good for is they are puppets for Mike Ashley. They do as Mike Ashley says, as he wants. And they ask him to jump and he'll ask, Oh, how high, Mr. Ashley? What should I do, Mr. Charnley? Nobody with a set of balls at all is running any department there. The only hope and glimmer is Rafa Benitez. And we still don't know because... Will he stay? Won't he stay? Will we be in fucking Brexit? Out of Brexit? Fuck knows. Nobody knows. And then there's people <coughs> coming out. He could go to China. He could go to Celtic. Odds being slashed. Fuck me. It's a simple decision. Give the man what he wants, when he wants, and let's move us forward. It's like they get a perverse joy out of seeing us squirm after seeing the shit go on and on and on you know on one hand you get news about tours of China and this that and the other well that's all well and good all well and good but we don't know who will be leading the fucking team when we go to China <coughs> so it needs to get sorted it needs to get sorted no common sense at all. No common sense. I wish and I hope and pray if I was given five minutes running that club, I'd be able to sort out half the shit. Jesus wept. Anyway, we do have a, a game. Finally, thank fuck. I hate international breaks. I don't care. You know, yeah, great. England scored 10. Great. Fantastic. But it's nowhere near the same as a Newcastle match. Um, can't wait to get back to it. It's going to be a difficult game away on Monday. No doubt about it. They've got a few injuries. Uh, obviously, we've got Shah out still, Longstaff. Lascelles is back, so that's some good news. Uh, interesting to see what he goes with at the back. Will the likes of Almiron, who've had huge, humongous journeys to get back, will they start or will he best plays? You know what Rafa's like after an international uh, match. He always likes to, to throw the odd spanner, doesn't he, into the works. Mix it up a bit. So there could be a surprise or two on the team sheet. That's all I'm saying come Monday. We'll have to see on that. Uh, but it can't come soon enough for me. Get back on, on onto the football. And then hopefully the column inches uh, and my Twitter feed and everything else will stop being full of Debenham's shit about Mike Ashley. We'll be stopped being full about Brexit shit. Theresa May, you know, all of this fucking Brexit crap, get back to the football, uh, and wouldn't it be great if we could, you know, even get a point, a point down there, anything, a positive performance to be able to take on under these final stretch of games, and, you know, let's see where we can finish in, in the league, but, uh, no, it does, it just beggars belief, Mike Ashley, more nicked than an absolute giraffe, and just finally, to finish off, there is a cup final, I believe, on Sunday, the tin pot 
or the egg cup competition, something like that. Um, people in Sunderland getting the wank socks out that they're filling the stadium. You know, at the end of the day, they've not filled it, uh, the own stadium up too many times, have they? The competition's a joke. People on about the they should get a UEFA Cup spot. Are you fucking absolutely delirious? Must be the fumes off the cheesy chips, that's all I can assume. Um, no, uh, to me, definitely be supporting Portsmouth. It always will be. In my book, when Newcastle support, you support Newcastle first, and then whoever the fuck is playing Sunderland. Uh, this weekend it's Portsmouth and, and obviously the Cup final. But the way they're banging on, it's you'd think it was the fucking Champions League or something like that. Jesus, Webb, I'd be absolutely embarrassed to be in the competition. It's a joke. The likes of Lincoln have won it recently. And now, if that doesn't put it in perspective, then I don't know what does. It's not a B plus competition. It's it's a fucking Z list competition, isn't it? It's an embarrassment. And to be fair, with the size of transfer budget and wages that they pay and everything else. You know, they were odds on for that uh, competition all the way through. So it's it's either which way, you know, they should, they should be. They should be beating the teams that are in there, you know, with everything taken into consideration. If they don't, it's a fucking joke. Uh, I hope Barnsley and uh, Luton take full advantage uh, and really just cement their places in the top two because it would absolutely be funny as out if Sunderland lost in the cup final and then lost again in the playoffs absolutely hilarious and i know we'll all get all that uh, the, the, the the people commenting oh we want them back in the premier league and this that and the other i couldn't give a mon monkeys to be honest um they could be in the conference for as, as far as i'm concerned it's great when the derby days come round. i mean i come from a town which is pretty much 50 50 the areas of 50-50 and Derby days, really, really good. The atmosphere, the banter and everything like that is really, really good. But do I give a monkey shit that they're down the league one? No. If they get in the championship, uh, do they have the finances to compete? Probably not because they're <laughs> when they were bought over, they were bought over in a bright house special. Wouldn't they pay, you know, £4.50 a week for several thousand years and then you've paid it off? Uh, so I don't really think they've, they've got the, the money there. If they stay in league one, then they're still in league one. Um, and the battle and the you know the likes of well the the lesser lights of the world and stuff like that aren't they? They're not exactly fighting the the big guns, are they? So yeah, that's all I'm going to say on the Sunderland Sunderland game. Couldn't really give a shit either which way to be honest. Um, but like, if Portsmouth win, it's a bit of a Brucey bonus, isn't it? That's what it is. Um, my main concern. I hope they end up messing up in 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 the playoffs. Barnsley to go up, Luton to go up, and then Sunderland to lose a second successive cup final at Wembley would be great. Uh, just to set the record straight as well for all the people who were messaging, well, you have never got to Wembley, blah, blah, blah. It was funny that, because I was sat in Wembley watching Newcastle this season, so get your facts straight. Give your red a wobble. Um, win the Premier League. And we played Spurs. The Premier League, not League One. So anyway... Um, We'll keep updating the page with all the, the, the Newcastle news. Anything else extra comes out from uh, Rafa, we'll bring it to you. But uh, let's just talk for some positive news on, on something. Just get back to the football. Stop all this thing. It's mental torture. Anyway, speak to you later. Bye.